Hi, this is Linda with CreativePLR.com, and I'm in Canva. No, I don't spend every waking minute in Canva. Um, I'm only here about once a week, but when I'm here, I get a lot of, of use out of it. And so um, today I was working on a um, trying to find some activities for um, my Etsy sh shop and also making some summer activities for kids. You know, kids will be out of school. They'll either want some fun activities or um, some educational activities or some fun educational activities. And so uh, one thing I like to do uh, for different holidays is bingo cards. And I didn't realize this, but Canva makes bingo cards. And so I'm going to show you today how you can make some bingo cards. I've got, uh, let me let me check the size of my paper um, I've got an eight and a half by 11 inch um, canvas or background you can do this in any size you want because when you create the bingo cards what's going to happen is um, it, it's going to go onto your page and you can adjust it to fit so you could do any size that you wanted and so I'm going to scroll down to my apps and um, let's see I'm going to get rid of the color palette and get all of my apps there. And I really didn't know this existed, but when I started looking all the different apps that they have, I'm like, bingo cards. Oh, I'm so there. And so I'm going to create some bingo cards. They give you a few categories. They don't give you very many. Countries, Harry Potter, Christmas, Halloween, American football, and songs. Or you could type in your own words or phrases there. Um, I kind of like the songs, and so I clicked on that, and I started looking at them, and I don't, um, let's see, Badlands, no, I don't know that one. Um, um, I've been working on the railroad, I don't like that one. And then there's another one, um, Tucson Train, I don't know that one. And the rest of them are pretty good, okay? So my kind of music, and so it looks great. And then you can decide on your grid side. Do you want a 3x3 three three card? Um, they go down as far as a 2x2. Two 2x2 two. Two two and 3x3 three three are really great for very young children. Their attention span isn't very long, and so they can't do a card that's got 25 objects on there, or if you use a free space, 24. And um, and so 3x3 three three and 2x2 two two are really popular sizes. I'll be using my site cards and actually uh, typing in the Fry first hundred site cards into, you know, into the the words and using those for a bingo um, you can use the five by five for vocabulary or we're going to use it for song titles so i'm going to click five by five and then you can decide on your font size um, or your your typography and i want comic sans and and then you can either have it draw grid lines or not Quite honestly, without the grid lines, it just looks like a mess. So I like the grid lines. And you can decide how many cards that you want. Now, if you only want a few cards, um, I, I don't want to make fun of anybody, but I did see someone selling on Etsy um, cards for a summer road trip, and they were selling them in sets of 35. Um, unless you're taking a road trip with, you know, in a bus, you know, with a whole bunch of people or a public bus, um, you just don't need that many cards for a road trip. Most cars and most families are only, you know, they're less than 10. So 10 cards would work really great. And, you know, one thing that you might do if you had these song titles would be fun. Of course, you'd have to know the songs. Uh, you might sing the first verse. Of Amazing Grace and then you know and then they have to figure out what song it is or the first verse of or the first long couple lines of American Pie um, I think that one's pretty recognizable most people would get that that one might be a fun way and so now that I've got my 10 cards 5x5 five five comic sans and I'm using song titles can create bingo cards and it just takes it a second now um, at first I didn't know exactly what in the world they're talking about uh, what is this? I want it on pages. So um, I could go ahead and quickly create my 10 pages. And I have to do this because if I don't, what's going to happen is I'm going to get so confused. I'm going to wind up, because I've already done this once, I'm going to wind up putting um, the same card on three or four times so I'd have duplicates. Okay, And it's even more important to do that if you're generating you know, 30 cards like I would. So there's card one. 
and then I'm going to go back and once I get them situated on their cards I'm going to go back and resize them. Now I have another program that does bingo cards um, that I, I paid for and you know I'm not going to even say I paid a lot for it because I bought it when it first came out and um, okay I think I'm on page six so this should be card six page seven card seven but it, it does images and words and symbols and all kinds of things and I do love it um, however you know it's there's always it's always nice to find more than one option to do this and I will say this even with my fancy come on even with my fancy version of a bingo card generator and um, you can you still have to adjust the size of the card and put a heading in and so I would leave a little space all the way around printing you know is, is sometimes awful and if you want to create a header or some kind of decoration on the top you know you might leave more space and so then you would go in under design and this is something that you know you experiment with and then after you think about it I want elements and I want a spring green banner and you know then you could have something as simple as that although I don't like the color so we're gonna have to change that okay and you could put it slightly off and the dark color in that gray are showing so maybe I leave the gray on there and I just change this I'd have to change that to that oh my gosh that's really not very attractive and then so you still get that really ugly color on there that's on the background so I don't like that so that didn't work um, you could also try, you know, banner, copy it, paste it, and then I would group them together. And but I'd still like something at the top. Okay, so that's it. Back and pull a bit, and then you could type on there, bingo, you know, song bingo or whatever. Or you could put a design behind this. And let's see. Um, no, I don't want to put a bunny. How about a spring flower and I'm not a fan of that but it doesn't really matter we're gonna put it in the back and we are going to make it trans okay and then just add you just add your um, spring song bingo and you are set now what I would do is I would figure out you know you kind of have to do this the first time and figure out all the ins and outs I would I would definitely um, design the heading or the background before I began and not have to then copy it to 10 or even 50 uh, bingo cards that you're going to have to do if you wait till the end. Uh, but that's another option. And let's see, I think I want this and I want this to be not quite as bright. See, I can use orange. I'm usually a blue. Pr and if you wanted to, I don't know with these these lines if the lines can be darkened, uh, the grid lines. But if that bothers you, you can always go back and add darker grid lines on there. So get to making some bingo. This is a great one, and this is just the words they already did. Um, I would never use something that's already existed. Um, but in this case, it worked great. So uh, I hope this was helpful and you can start creating some bingo cards in Canva.